How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I'm currently in not my dorm, but my girlfriend's dorm. The reason why I'm in my girlfriend's dorm is because her dorm, her hall is the one that has a kitchen, a community kitchen. Uh, mine does not. If you guys want to see my dorm, you'll probably see it in the future, in a future video because I will be here for a while. But it's my first week in college and yesterday I went diving for the first time. Uh, my first dive in college and I didn't go for anything crazy, you know, just got some stuff. Uh, wanted to get some stuff to cook up and, um, you know, get used to using a community kitchen and rather than uh, my own kitchen and um, all of that good stuff. But yeah, I went, I got a bunch of fish and I just cooked them all up. So um, I already filmed everything, but I thought I'd film this little intro for you guys just to give you guys a little bit of context. Um, but yeah, first dive in college and it was super fun. I didn't go for anything too nuts because once again, I just got here and I don't really know any good spots. Um, so I just found a spot on, on like Google Maps and I sent it out because it looked good and got, managed to get some stuff. Uh, nothing super crazy, but definitely enough to eat and we just cooked it up. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the water. Shoot so bye. This is the first drop of the day. I would say it's about 60 feet. The grounds here in Hilo are super different from Oahu. Mainly the structure here, like the boulders and all that. Like you can see just how many big boulders there are around. Oahu doesn't really have any spots that have these big boulders like that. So it was a little bit, a little bit of a adjustment period here. <laughs> And I still need some more practice with it, but I'm just looking around, doing some grunting, doing some dusting, trying to call something in. I was mostly taking blind drops this whole dive. So just looking around and then eventually I see this good sized Munu come in. So I just line up on him and I wait for him to get past this boulder here and take my shot. Got him right in the eyeball. Yeah, first fish of the day, a nice little moon. So when I actually pulled the moon up, I noticed that he had this big old parasite on his fin, which kind of grossed me out. And even though I'm killing the moon and eating it, I still wanted to take it off just because it was weird. And it got stuck to my finger and I had to, you know, flail around a little bit to get it off. So this is the next drop. I took out my three prong because I wasn't seeing too many big fish. So I decided to take out the three prong and see if I could get like maybe some coles or mempachi, stuff like that. But I'm looking around, loading the three prong. Kind of trying to pick out what I want. I see that Munu right there. That's a good size. So... Was thinking about shooting him, but still looking around, trying to pick a target. And then I turn around, eventually I'll get there. And I notice that big old fantail uhu right there. Now, unlike the whiptails, I really, really like fantails. I'll shoot whiptails occasionally, but fantails, in my opinion, I don't know why, but I feel like they taste way better. But that might just be me. I know whiptails taste good, but I don't know if to me fantails taste pretty good or taste better. But yeah, I was going to try and get that fantail with the three prong and he came pretty close, just not close enough, not quite close enough. But he stuck around and I could see that he was super calm, super relaxed. So I went back up and I grabbed my gun and I dropped down kind of in the same area as where I was 
in the that last drop with the three prong so just going down this is probably in about 50 55 i think so a little bit shallower and sure enough he pops out right in right up from behind that rock there and he comes right in in about the same range but this time since i have the gun it's a lot more doable i line up bang get a nice shot this is definitely the biggest fanta uhu that i've ever shot for sure and like i said before i've said in other videos that i don't shoot uhus usually unless somebody asked me for it but i was mostly talking about the whip tails because the like i said the fantails i don't know why but i like eating them more than i like eating the uh the whip tails which is the uh the more common uhu that you usually see but yeah solid second fish of the day So after I got that uhu, I moved into some pretty shallow water. This is probably around 45 feet, 45, 50. So shallow, shallow water. And I was looking for more smaller fish, maybe some goats and uh, some more munus like that. So I'm just hiding among the boulders. Still, once again, trying to learn how to hunt among the boulders because living on Oahu, I never really had to do that because there's not really spots on Oahu that have boulders, especially this deep. But I noticed a good sized moo come in there. So I start turning my body towards him and he kind of stops in between those two boulders. So I take a little lunge and shish kebab him solid moo good size one nothing crazy nothing huge but definitely a good eating size and especially being in a dorm i can't i don't really have a lot of options in terms of like cleaning a big fish so i have to kind of wait until i get some friends over here that actually live here so that maybe i can clean fish at their house or something like that but cannot really fillet anything too crazy in the dorm kitchen that would be kind of kind of gross for the other people living there but yeah good size moo perfect eating size third fish of the day so after i secured that moo i was swimming around and i noticed a big pananu that was kind of flitting in and out of these boulders so I wanted to shoot him, so I unloaded one of my bands and I went down and I saw him go into that little space right in front of me where there's kind of three boulders that come together and make this one hole. And I saw him go in there, but while I was down there, he poked his head out for a second. You, you can't see it on camera, but for a second he poked his head out and then he went back in and then I don't know where he went after that. But while I was waiting down there, this really nice size moon who comes in so i just line up with the one band get a nice little stone shot there and i have no idea where that pananu went but honestly i'd rather take a a good size moon over a big pananu like that but yeah solid moon this one is bigger than the first one i shot and again nothing huge like definitely it's definitely not a huge moon but perfect eating size yeah, stoking.
trash can was kind of overflowing and uh um i bought a bunch of my own like pan i bought the pan that was mine the tongs were mine um but i had to use some some community stuff which was a little bit different but you know it is what it is as as long as i can figure out a way to cook fish here i'm all good but yeah first dive um nothing too crazy and i'm looking forward to a lot more dives in the future um because like i said i'm gonna be here for a while it is college but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i'll see you in the next one shoots everybody